Members of our local gems have to honor one of the oldest surviving World War II prisoners of war. Yeah, so today, it will dedicate a wall to Sergeant John Connolly. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live from OSHA Waits on the door side. Aaron, good morning. This is quite a milestone for him. Good morning. We were excited to be here to witness that surprise birthday bash right inside the doors of Inner Gym North Jacks yesterday. John Connolly, he's a longtime member of the gym here, 18 years strong being a member here. He comes to try to work out about three times a week, but little does he know he has a little bit of a surprise waiting for him beyond just his birthday yesterday. This monument over here will be presented to John as a way to thank him and to just show their loyalty to him. It's not complete yet as far as there are a couple of things still to have to be brought here later on this morning. But one thing that has been added so far, you see that plaque down to the left that has his name and when he served and where he served during the uh, during World War II. The gym officials, they say that they wanted to do this as a way to show that they are committed to uh, thanking John. And he wants to be credited for his faithfulness, not only to the gym, but also to serving his country. Happy birthday to you. A surprise birthday celebration for Inner Gym's oldest member, John Connolly, turning the big 99 on Wednesday. Somebody loved me out there. <laughs> Connolly is a World War II veteran who valiantly served in the Air Corps near the end of the war. He was shot down over Germany and spent 10 months as a prisoner. It made a man out of me. And if I wasn't part of that action, I would be only half a man. But what John does not know is he has another birthday gift on the way. Energem is surprising him Thursday morning with this monument outside, dedicated solely to him. It will have a flag and a plaque with his name engraved. Jacob Wolf, who is the marketing director for the gym, says Connolly deserves this honor for his loyalty to the gym and to this country, calling him committed, dedicated, and showing perseverance. We felt it was really important to um, leave, leave behind a legacy uh, for future generations to have a place to remember his sacrifices um, and just have, have his name you know, forever a part of a monument where people can remember him, remember the hard work that he put in, his dedication. And they're running around and they're all pointing up to the sky. Connolly tells his story of being captured when he was 19 years old in 1944 during his eighth mission as a gunner when they were attacked. He says his capture happened shortly after cutting himself down from a tree with razor blades he happened to have with him in order to be released from his parachute. And as I'm walking back, another older man in the group comes up and was walked alongside of us. And he said to me in broken English or halting English, I, English prisoner, World War I, you now German prisoner. Uh, my brain spun around. <laughs> John said another thing he will never forget was when one of the camps he was in was forced to evacuate during the Battle of the Bulge. After we got out of there, <laughs> they marched us out in the snow, and for the next 52 days, we, you know, slept in barns on the ground and everything. And they took us across Germany to the town of Fallingbossel, where they was, it was a, they put us in a, an English camp there. His brother-in-law, Robert Paulette, said John had a log of his entire experience, including being taken in by a family that looked after him. John kept notes of his whole ordeal through every camp that he was in. He would scribble his notes on the matchbook covers. I had to be on the team. I was an athlete. You always had to make a team, and I had to be on that team. And if I would have felt... As I said, a half a man if, if I couldn't serve. Now, this hero is being recognized for his bravery and allegiance to helping maintain our freedom. And the big reveal and presentation to John Connolly of this monument is scheduled for 11 o'clock this morning. Reporting live in Ocean Way, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.